and we will answer a tricky inequality question that kind of has to do with absolute value as well. And we'll answer this and I'll give you some strategies how to approach questions like these on the SAT. My name is Katya Severson. I'm the inventor of the Severson Method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast, including tricky SAT math questions. Let's do this. Whenever my clients see questions like these, I always hear something like, oh, I just hate these. Oh, I can't stand questions like these. And um, if you're on that boat, why don't you pause the video and try to answer it? What do you guys think? How would you approach this question even? A lot of my students like to give values to X and Y to make it less hypothetical and more real and then try to evaluate every answer choice. When you do that though, I need you to know that X could be positive and negative, and then Y could be positive and negative. So when you're creating these possibilities, make sure that you create more than one. So let's create a first possibility where Y would be four and X would be two. So we have negative four is less than two, and then two is less than four. Works. Absolute value of x is less than y. Absolute value of two is less than y. It checks out. Then x is a positive number, checks out. Y is a positive number, checks out. You are not now ready to answer D. No, 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 no. You now need to make a few more steps. Plus, remember, this is question 26. Should be easy, it should be hard. Now, let's make x a negative number. Let's see if it changes anything for us um, because we need to really check if x always has to be a positive number. Negative y could be, let's say, negative eight. Then negative five, then eight. Do you see if that works? It does. Negative eight is greater than negative, um, a negative eight is less than negative five and negative five is greater. And then negative five is less than eight. It works out. So two is absolutely wrong. So all of the answer choices that include two could be eliminated. Now we have to check if, if three has to be correct and that will make us decide between A and C. Now, how do we do that? Did you guys know that this little inequality actually yields you yields creates produces three inequalities it creates negative y is less than x it also gives you that x is less than y so we do this and this but did you also know that you can pretend that the middle thing doesn't exist and that you can derive that negative y is less than y Make sure you know how to do that. If negative y is less than y, does that mean that y is positive? Absolutely, it does. So three is also correct. So the right answer is C. So my advice to you guys for questions like these, always create real values. And when you do, make them positive, make them negative, make them even, make them odd. And whenever you are given like a dual, inequality, make sure that you create all three inequalities, that you erase the middle and then you connect the first and the third term in your inequality and then you check it as well. I hope this helps. Don't forget every month we choose one lucky person to get on the free tutoring session with me. All you need to do guys is leave a comment below this video or any other video on the channel. We randomly choose one person every month and we give them a full hour of free tutoring from me. It's so nice talking to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.